soir. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, Excellency. Uh, so, are you ready? We, we have a brief statement to make. You're okay? Okay. So, uh, this is the Central Committee uh, of the Orange Democratic Movement Party, which has had a meeting with its elected leaders from Migori County and Kisi County to get a brief following recent worrying incidents in the two counties. In attendance from Migori was the governor, you can see His Excellency Ochilo Ayako is here, the woman representative, Honorable Fatuma Full Network, Senator Edi Okech is here with us, the MP for Suna West, uh, the Honorable Masara, the MP Suna East, Honorable Junet Mohammed. And from Kisi County we have uh, yes, and we also have uh, members of the county assembly uh, from Migori as well. From Kisi County, we have uh, members of parliament, the Honorable Kibagendi uh, from Kitutu Church South, the Honorable Barongo from Bomachoge, Borabu, and uh, Honorable Osero, who's from Borabu in uh, Nyamira, uh, joined us as well. So what has emerged from the briefing is that there is a clear and calculated plan to use state power to destabilize ODM-run counties and constituencies in partnership with rogue members of the party, some who are the subject of ongoing disciplinary proceedings and who have since pledged allegiance to our opponents in the regime. Yes. Uh, watching us on the live stream, some other members of the media have uh, arrived. We just want them to be ready and we'll take the statement from the top. Uh, once I get a signal that those who have now come are okay to proceed. We can proceed? Yes. Emmanuel Jo? Yes. We can proceed? Yes. Okay. This is a press statement of a meeting of a central committee of a party. The central committee of the party has had a meeting 
with its elected members, uh, leaders from Migori and Kisi counties to get a brief following recent worrying incidents in the two counties. In attendance from the county of Migori was the governor, Honorable Chilo Ayako, the women representative, Honorable Fatuma Full Network, the senator, the Honorable Eddie Okech, the member of parliament for Suna West, the Honorable Peter Masara, the MP Suna East, Honorable Junette Mohammed, and uh, two MCS from uh, Migori as well. From Kisi, we have the Honorable Kibagendi from Kitutu Chache South, the Honorable Barongo from Abomachoge Borabu. Uh, Honorable Osero from Borabu in Nyamira was also present. What has emerged from the briefing is that there is a clear and calculated plan to use state power to destabilize ODM-run counties and constituencies in partnership with rogue members of the party, some subject to ongoing disciplinary proceedings who have since pledged allegiance to the regime. The idea seems to be to utilize state force, particularly the police and provincial administration, to prop up the so-called rebels in an attempt to penetrate our strongholds. In Migori, police fired tear gas at mourners at a funeral on the 3rd of this month in Uriri sub-county at the direction of the area MP, Honorable Mark Nyamita. Honorable Nyamita was invited to, do, to today's meeting but did not attend. At this stage, the party wishes to fully dissociate itself from the Honorable Mark Nyamita. We have granted his wish to no longer be part of us and advise our members in Uriri and Migori generally that he is an agent of our opponents in the UDA with the assigned task of sowing confusion and discord within ODM. Honorable Nyamita does not speak for nor represent the party at any level and we advise our members to view and treat him and all those who support him accordingly. In Bora, uh, Bomachoge Borabu, UDA MPs in a bid to undermine the area ODM MP, Honorable Barongo, brandished employment letters from the TSC Tero from Borabu in Nyamira was also present. What has emerged from the briefing is that there is a clear and calculated plan to use state power to destabilize ODM-run counties and constituencies in partnership with rogue members of the party, some subject to ongoing disciplinary proceedings who have since pledged allegiance to the regime. The idea seems to be to utilize state force, particularly the police and provincial administration, to prop up the so-called rebels in an attempt to penetrate our strongholds. In Migori, police fired tear gas at mourners at a funeral on the 3rd of this month in Uriri sub-county at the direction of the area MP, Honorable Mark Nyamita. Honorable Nyamita was invited to, do, to today's meeting but did not attend. At this stage, the party wishes to fully dissociate itself from the Honorable Mark Nyamita. We have granted his wish to no longer be part of us and advise our members in Uriri and Migori generally that he is an agent of our opponents in the UDA with the assigned task of sowing confusion and discord within ODM. Honorable Nyamita does not speak for nor represent the party at any level and we advise our members to view and treat him and all those who support him accordingly. In Bora, uh, Bomachoge Borabu, UDA MPs in a bid to undermine the area ODM MP, Honorable Barongo, brandished employment letters from the TSC and the Kenya Wildlife Service. These bad manners were started by none other than CS for Education, the Honorable Machogo. We cannot as a party think of a clearer example of abuse of power other than people walking around with employment letters for state appointments in funerals and in, uh, in, in, in uh, these unofficial events. What is most worrying to us and our supporters is that members of Azimio do not have a similar opportunity to also get those employment letters because they are issued exclusively to members of the UDA. There is also continued harassment of our leaders in Kisi, including the governor, members of parliament and our supporters in Kisi by the police and provincial administration. The master puppeteer behind these schemes has been identified as none other than the PS for internal security, Raymond Omolo. The party wishes to condemn in the strongest terms this blatant abuse of police and state power to intimidate our people and prop up regime stooges in our strongholds. 
we will be lodging formal complaints to the relevant authorities in the next few days as regards the abuse of police power and the provincial administration. We want to also uh, make it clear that as members of parliament from the Azimio coalition side, we will be seeking a position of this government on whether state appointments can be uh, dished out in the manner in which they are being dished out by cabinet secretaries led by none other than CS for Education, uh, the Honorable Machogu. So MPs, we will be summoning the CS to parliament to explain to us where and how members of ODM can pick TSC employment letters. In the meantime, we urge our supporters to remain vigilant and smell out these nefarious schemes by the regime and its stooges who hide amongst us thinking they can deceive us as to their intentions. That is the end of the statement and if there are any questions, we will take the questions now. Thank you. I think it is clear. So you never lack a, a, statement, a question? Yes, is it regarding this? Okay. Yes. Just this. We'll talk about that Come. some other time. You're welcome for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay.